Good morning. Oh my god. What is life? I don't know. I've got a shower. I've got to wash my hair. I've got an extensive Wednesday to-do list. So let's just get the shower out of the way. I've been wanting to do a hair care routine for a minute because not to be vain, as someone who dyed, bleached, their hair over the years. Pretty damn good hair for someone who just mistreated it for years. So I think it's been since 2021 that I've had any color or anything in my hair. Um, but I like to think that I have really good hair. <laughs> so I wash my hair twice in the shower and I use this right here for my shampoo. I do not condition because I have pretty oily hair and it gets oily pretty fast. Um, so instead of conditioner, when I get out of the shower, I use the Infinity 8-in-1 Leave-In Conditioner. It's like a keratin treatment and I love it very much. And then I also use this Argan Oil Heat Protectant, which I use whether or not I put heat on my hair, which most of the time I don't, simply because it coats your hair with the argan oil and sometimes air drying your hair can be more damaging than heat. Sometimes. I'm not saying all the time. That looked like a person. It scared the fuck out of me. Um, and then I also do this defrizz and shine coconut, mostly because it smells good, but also I have like slightly wavy hair and I also have the butterfly cut. So the way my hair dries, um, and the way I style it, it's it can get a little frizzy because it's got layers in it and whatnot. Some ponds or juvenesse, y'all know I love this shit. These are boxes that we still have not unpacked yet. I have been asking for two bookshelves to go right here, um, but my husband is just claiming that he doesn't think it's gonna look good. Um, but I might just buy the bookshelves, put them up myself, and then. He'll come home to it done one day. We'll see. Um, that's that. And then I think I have a package coming in today. And I really hope so because I really want to test it. Something that I bought from the TikTok shop. And I really want to test it for y'all. And I was like, you know what? We're trying out. Or I'm talking about my hair care routine. Um, and also, I have no knots when I get out of the shower. Um, after I put product in. And again, no conditioner. Um, just shampoo, couple of products. Um, but if I do have a few knots, which I usually don't, I'll take my comb and just go through it. And look, it's already got volume and it's not even dry yet. Oh, there was a knot. <laughs> I also have hella acne right now, but only on this side of my face. Like one, two, three, and then four, five. What the fuck is going on? I don't like it. I have been getting back into dance kind of slowly. I am on a few sub, sub lists. So I'm actually called in pretty regularly, like every week and if not every week, every other week. Um, and if you didn't know, teaching dance is kind of a lot, especially if you are running your studio while also trying to teach majority of the classes. It's any studio owner will tell you it's next to impossible and you cannot do it alone. Especially for your own mental health and sanity. But I started dancing again. Um, we're taking it slow. I told them I didn't want to commit to too much um, at once. Give me a second. <sighs> Our storm door is messed up. It comes undone sometimes. And so we uh, have to go shut it back. Otherwise it creaks and it's very annoying and it disturbs the dogs. So they bark at it a lot throughout the day. But this is all like dance and work stuff. So I'm trying to get that cleared up. And that's my work bag back there. So I'm gonna throw like work stuff in it. <laughs> I actually need this later. I've also been using this deodorant lately and I really, oh my God, <laughs> I really like it. It's the Dove Advanced Gear Coconut. Um, deodorant and it is 
by far the best deodorant that I've like ever used. We're gonna throw that in my dance bag. I'm also gonna just throw this bra in my dance bag because I just wanna get it out of the way. And then this bag is full of goodies from Tutus and Dance Shoes that I am supposed to film a video for because uh, I am their social media manager. So I have like a bunch of fun dance stuff in there that I'm gonna film for their socials. Um, and then this is my Modern Gents uh, ring holder. I don't know if um, I ordered two, but they sent me two boxes. Like, in here is exactly what's in here. I will literally show you. And again, I don't know if I ordered it twice or they just sent it to me because I ordered two rings from them. But also, um, I think I'm supposed to make a video about that band right there. It's not like a brand deal or anything. They were just like, hey, if you make a video about it, since you bought it, we'll like pay you or, I don't know. It's through like an app or something. I don't know, I might get like a discount on my next purchase or whatever. And I will definitely be purchasing with them again at some point in the future because this is impressive. The quality of these rings for the price that I paid, obsessed uh, i'm spraying cherry blossom japanese cherry blossom from bath and body works and then their bourbon cologne also from bath and body works this is my like signature scent so if you want to know what i smell like nine times out of ten it's gonna be that or something beachy coconutty uh, and these are dance socks these are capizio dance socks i am actually making some specific content with tutus I didn't explain that well enough tutus and dance shoes is a local dance shop it's actually one of the only dance shops in um the csra which is where i live which is like central savannah river area that's exactly what that means i live in augusta georgia everybody from like the southeast and like uh southwest of south carolina and all that fun stuff come to tutus and i run their social media so that way they have more of an online presence i have these capizio socks that um I, these are the ones that i own but i'm also making content about the other ones that are just for that i am taking back so none of this is mine i do have to return all of this but she was like let's just take it home um and so you can make content there and things like that um but i am going to be making my own content for these because she gifted me these um for a just promotional um in feed post and reel and i'm also going to make a reel and a tiktok that i'm also going to post on youtube shorts so stay tuned for that if it's not it should already be posted by the time you see this um but if it's not stay tuned it's coming soon and i'm dancing again people all right here's my dance bag we love her She's gonna go over here with my work bag because this is where we put all of our stuff when we walk in. And then these flowers are dead, but they're kind of giving me creepy Halloween vibes, so we're gonna leave them there. Um, and this work bag, in all things Lillianne, custom canvas bag. It's not custom, but she did make this. She screen printed this. Um, it's part of her brand. I love all things Lillianne. If you can't tell, I actually, um, all of these stickers are hers as well. I think this one and this one are my favorite. I love this one because it's just the cutest. And then this one's a little disco ball. Obviously, I had to get the one that was a camera because I'm a photographer. All the fun things. So go check out um, Lily if you don't already know who that is. And if you don't, I'm kind of surprised. So I'm going to attempt to make Taylor Swift's chai cookie recipe um i did just text my husband with a couple of ingredients that i need um uh, before i can make them so he's gonna bring those to me uh, when he gets off of work and then we're gonna make some cookies okay this is the softest fucking sweater i've ever owned i did order it a size too big normally i'm like an extra large uh, large kind of gal but i ordered a 2x because i wanted it to fit a little bit big but i think it's just slightly too long i don't know but i like it i'll make it work um but this is my speak now card again i think this is the first time i'm like announcing it on my channel i'm pretty sure i wore it in my last 
video, but I never really said it what it was. Speak now, cardigan. Anybody else that got one? Um, can you tell me what this is for? Or just anybody that knows this is on the inside of the sweater. What? What's this? Kind of got depressed since the last time I talked to you. <laughs> but for now, we're going to just roll with it, I guess. Uh, and make some Taylor Swift cookies to give myself um, some immediate dopamine. And husband on the way home with the rest of what I need to make these cookies. Okay. I feel like I need a secondary angle. So you can see everything that's going in the cookies. <sighs> okay, now I need my laptop for the, oh my God, this is an ordeal. <sighs> These cookies better be delicious. Well, I do know that I need a whole stick of room temperature butter. So I pulled that out of the fridge a couple hours ago. There, and then I know I need a one egg. Okay, and then I know I need one bag of chai tea, which I drink chai tea, so this whole box will not be wasted. I will probably also make some chai tea tonight while we eat these cookies. Will you pull up the recipe on your phone? It's not working on my computer. I'll probably do it. We will get my work phone then. Okay. So a stick of butter, a half a cup of vegetable oil. I need a half cup of sugar, granulated sugar. And then we also are using powdered sugar um, for this recipe too, um, for the cookies and the icing. And then half a cup of powdered sugar. All right, we're just doing a basic one. We're doing cinnamon, nutmeg, and that's literally it. A whole teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the bag of chai, which I think honestly covers everything I don't have you know two teaspoons of vanilla extract two cups of all-purpose flour three-fourths teaspoon of baking soda I guess I don't need any milk for the cookies so I'm just gonna start Mixing. Actually, now that we're getting into the messy part of this, I'm gonna take my ring off. Mm. I every time I use a whisk, I'm reminded why I hate using whisks. So we're just not gonna do that. Now I'm gonna scoop these suckers up and put them on the pan. Also, I feel like this is a no-brainer, but like, wash your hands before you cook. So I feel like this might make about 10 large cookies and it could probably make like 12 normal cookies. Yeah, there's like two decently sized cookies left um, and I don't wanna just waste them, but I don't have any more <clears throat> room on my pan. So this is technically a pie and cake dish, but I am straight up just gonna throw these bitches right in there, press them down, and uh, call it a day. So, there, cool. No batter wasted. It says nine minutes. I'm gonna, Siri, set a timer for seven minutes. Um, and then I'm going to make the icing. I'm now just following a recipe from TikTok because the other one just wasn't, it was a lot. It just says three tablespoons of milk. 
I have 2%. Normally I don't drink regular milk, but when I bake, I just like do not like to bake with oat milk. Um, and then it says in a, a, you can add an optional half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I am going to. I'm gonna add a teeny tiny bit, like a teeny tiny bit more milk, like maybe a tablespoon. I'm not a chef, but I do, I am pretty good at improvising like ingredients in a recipe that I can already follow. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm not good at making anything up, but I can kind of tell how much it really needs. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Kind of a lot to clean up here, so I'm gonna go do that. Probably eat a slice of pizza and then I'll be back to ice the cookies with you. Okay, I'm gonna ice these bad boys. Oh, they smell so good. I'm not gonna ice all of them because if Jared wants any, he probably won't want the icing. Not enough icing. 